How's it going guys and welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm making a vlog and I'm just about to go get some breakfast. But after that we're going to go over to my house because we're currently at Emmy's. That's why we've got this lovely pink wall. And we're going to strip one of the bedrooms at my house, pull the wallpaper off and maybe start painting today. So we've got a little bit of decorating that needs doing there. And we'll do whatever else needs doing with the day. But like I say, before we get into that, I'm going to go have some breakfast. So, Emmy's prepared this awesome looking breakfast. Some cereal, milk, tea, and a vitamin C drink. Black currant flavour. So, we're going to have all this now. And then, like I say, we're going to get stuff together, get ready, and go over to mine and probably start on uh, taking on wallpaper off that room that needs a makeover. So, we're going to have our breakfast. So guys, me and Emmy have finished our breakfast and now I'm going to just do a bit of washing up whilst Emmy goes and gets ready to go to my house. But I just wanted to talk to you guys for a couple of seconds. I've just had like two weeks off of work and for the first week I went over and with my nana and granddad. And that was lovely. I mean, I've been going there since I was little. And it's really nice just to take Immy there because of the fact that I used to go when I was walking and stuff. Uh, and just in general, it was just nice to see them because obviously we've had lockdown, so I haven't seen them in like, you know, like over half a year or something like that. So it was just really nice to go see them, have some time off. But for the second week, which is the week that I'm currently in, now we're on, I think we're on like Thursday now, I'm pretty sure we're on Thursday, which is a real shame because that's like a you know, the majority of my holiday gone. But for this week, I wanted to make as many YouTube videos as I could. So obviously I really enjoy YouTube. My biggest problem is time. You're gonna see a lot more of these vlogs that are not interesting. For example, I'm washing the dishes, not very interesting, but you guys are gonna see this sort of content because it's the sort of content I wanna make. And you're probably gonna see more helpful videos. So, I really enjoyed making the video where I show people what to look for in a course DBXR. I'm going to do a couple more videos that are similar to that. I've got them kind of planned out and I'm really looking forward to doing them soon. I also uh, have a bit of a project that I'm really debating, but again, it's a whole time thing and I have a feeling the video won't do amazingly well, um, but it's more just kind of, it's just a video I want to make, so I think I'll do that, but it's just balancing my time again. Anyway, I've got lots and lots of washing up to do. I just thought I'd have a bit of a catch up with you guys. I want to do more of this as well because I've noticed a lot of my videos. I'm like, oh, we're going here, we're going to do this, then we're going to do that, and then we're going to do this. And it's just a lot of me traveling to places or going to do something. It's not a lot of me actually doing something. So I want to spend more time like just doing whatever I'm doing, which is washing up, but actually talking to you guys. Um, about sort of what's going on or just about whatever I want to talk to you guys about. So, that is what we shall start doing. Anyway, I'm going to go wash up, I'm going to finish washing up, and I'm going to talk to you guys probably when we get to my ass. I don't know why I've just done that, I don't know how I'm going to turn that into a transition. So guys, we're back at my house, and Emmy's starting to pull the wallpaper off already. But as you guys can see, we've been here for a couple hours or so now. We've completely cleared the room. Um, and we're going to start pulling <laughs> all the wallpaper off. But it looks like the wallpaper's got another layer of the wallpaper on it. Yeah, it's just what's ripped off that. Oh, I see. So anyway, yeah, we're going to start pulling all the wallpaper off. And we're actually going to... That's really loud. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to start pulling all the wallpaper off and we're actually going to paint it. We're not going to put wallpaper back on because... Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Anyway, we're going to start pulling stuff off. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to replace this. I don't even want to touch it because it's a bit dodgy. Um, I'm going to replace the rose now and Amy's just going to continue to pull off wallpaper. So go in. So Emmy's completely removed a ton of the wallpaper. We need another 
And I have managed to change the light bulb. So it was just this bit here that needed replacing. I took the whole thing apart, but it turns out it was only that bit. But we now have light. So yeah, we've now got the light bulb and we're just going to focus on removing all this wallpaper so we can paint it. So we're going to do a bit of a b-roll now. Tidied it up a bit, uh, put a bit of polyfiller in some certain bits, and basically, Holland's just trying some colours with my room. As you can see, that looks fantastic. Hi. Well, yeah, we've stripped it all down, it's ready to paint. We're going to end today today. We're going to go back to Timmy's house, have some tweet, and come back tomorrow to paint it. It's really echoey in here, isn't it, without the furniture? No, it was this morning, but even with it. Oh, but yeah, I'm going to stop the vlog here and I'm going to carry on again tomorrow. I'm not going to end the vlog today. I'm just going to keep going. So, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. So guys, it's the next day and I just thought I'd quickly update you guys. We've come in quick, got the roof painted and we're just about to start on the sides. I've gone along and polyfilled and sanded uh, this wall. Be careful guys. And that wall. So, get it all sanded paint and then I'll talk to you guys. I'm just doing it quick on my phone because I don't want to get all painted. Dust and paint, yes, Quinn. Dust and paint and stuff all on my camera. So, but so far, roof's done. And, and this, we're getting this, somewhere this with it. Yeah. So I'll see you guys when we're a bit further along. So guys, just a quick update. We're ending day two. Yeah. Day two of doing this bedroom. And as you can see behind me, this back wall and the wall with the window have still both not been painted. However, the wall over there going in, quite a big wall, that one is. And that one down there have been painted, the roof's been done. Uh, so it's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, uh, if I can show you guys. But these walls were, bearing in mind before they had, uh, as you guys saw, all the wallpaper on. They were actually in a lot worse of a state than I expected them to be. There were lots of holes, so someone had put lots of like nails and pens in this stuff just in random places. I assume for like uh, photos and stuff. But on top of that, like the glue from the the actual wallpaper was all over the wall and stuff. So they took a lot of sanding and a lot of cracking off of plaster. So I'm not really sure how it works. But the plaster didn't have to be level all over the place and could have extra little like bits of plaster. I'm not sure why that wasn't noticeable with the paper, but it wasn't. Quinn's waiting. Quinn's there. So, oh yeah, that was something else we did, I forgot to mention. We've actually done the radiators because they chipped and cracked quite bad, so they're they been repainted. Chip, but they look a bit better. Yeah, they, yeah, they look all the same now, don't they? Because underneath the radiator, you could see little bits of rust, but you could also see like a different colour of white. So, although you can still see right here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like, it drops down. And that's where it obviously cracked, but 
Uh, because it's all painted as one now, it doesn't look as bad, it looks a lot better. That's it for today. Productive day. Tomorrow I'm hoping we finish the two walls and then move the rest of my stuff into it because I think I've decided that I am going to have this room just because of the fact that it's a bit bigger and that's the little brother that would have had the room and as you can see he's little and I'm big and this room's a lot bigger and also obviously Imi comes round to mine and I've got Ragley so I could do with the bigger room so I think that's what we'll do. Anyway I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. So guys the next day and we've still got those two walls to paint however we don't quite have enough paint to do both walls so we're currently mixing paint which seems very sketchy that was that lime green color we had mm. and we've poured that like, entire thing of white in and we're now pouring some really dark emerald in so we're trying not to just go and buy loads of paint we're trying to use up stuff that we had that i think that'll cool. do I think on the green. What do you think? Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Cool. So we've tested a couple different ones. These ones they were a bit lighter. That's just the emerald in general. No, that was the emerald mixed with. Oh yeah, sorry. No, that was the emerald mixed. That's the emerald in general. So we've just mixed a few things, and hopefully, it does what we need it to do, and it can cover this wall and that wall, and actually look half decent. So you guys are going to find out in a couple of seconds whether it worked or not. So guys, it's the end of day three and we had this wall and that wall uh, at the start of today. We have finally finished the back two walls. I don't know if you guys can see it very well on the camera, uh, but it's like a minty green sort of colour and we got very worried because near the end, we probably thought we were going to run out about here. Ah. No, they fell over. Um, about there. Um, so there was a fair bit of wall left that we thought we weren't going to be able to do. But we did just manage to uh, finish it off. My hand looks like red, so I can tell that you guys can't see this colour very well at all. So I'm going to show you guys properly in the morning when I'm not so sort of painty and stuff and I actually can get out my proper camera without worrying about covering it in rubbish and breaking yet another camera this year. So I thought I'd quickly update you guys. Wall, all the walls painted, the doors had a very good clean, things like the windowsills had a really lovely clean. We're going to paint the window uh, at some point and we are going to paint the insides of here. However, I want to plaster here first because there's a load of plaster missing either side. I assume when the new window went in, so I'm going to plaster that then paint the inside, probably just paint the inside of the window white uh, to let a bit more light in and the window frame I think is going the same as the radiator. Radiators, yes. Although that looks darker because it's um... No, honestly on this laughing camera you can't really tell anything. Yeah. I'll show you guys properly tomorrow. But I just wanted to let you guys know that everything so far is looking fantastic and the carpet was quite a state. Uh, you can't really tell either on this but We've spent a lot of time hoovering We've got the blinds down for uh, they're going to be washed. Um, and then it's pretty much like a new room. Then next weekend, I think I'm going to start moving stuff in. But as a whole, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to show you guys tomorrow with my camera when we're, we're pretty much finished for this week. So guys, I said I was going to show you around my room when we got everything in the next day, but it is not the next day. In fact, it is a good couple of weeks later and everything is in my room. Now, it took a little while to get everything in because we took, did a few more cleans of the carpet and just tidied up a few other things like we managed to clean the big beam that's in the room and the door and just other things that were easier to clean whilst all the stuff was outside of the room. I also managed to fix the window and I didn't plaster it. I used some stuff called Magic something or I can't really remember what it's called but uh, it was something that my granddad had that essentially you just put it all on a little bit like polyfiller and then you use a uh, word gone trial type thing uh, just to sort of spread it over a bit like you would do plastering and it just leveled it out and it just made the window look a little bit better because before it looked pretty rough we also painted it as you can see uh, a cappuccino color because that was again 
we were trying to just use what we had and that was a, a paint can that we had. We also used that paint in the bathroom but that is for another video. Now I'm going to show you guys quickly the room but I'm not going to go too much into detail because I am going to do a whole video on my like a, just like a room tour sort of thing. The wardrobe that you guys saw that was in the room whilst we were decorating it and stuff I've decided to keep and it's quite nice because I never I've not, not had a wardrobe in years and years and years because my room was just too small so it's nice to have somewhere to hang my clothes and stuff and also it's where I've been putting my tools so it's kind of half wardrobe half toolbox. My stereo system you guys can see that is I've put the other speakers around the room but I haven't actually uh, wired them in yet I'll do that before I um, do the room tour video. I say they're, they're wired in but the, the, the cables just aren't very neat. Over here the office area is back. Now it's a bit of a mess because I'm still sort of deciding where everything's going. However I've managed to get this green light that you guys can see working and it's just quite it's quite confined like it was before. It's pretty similar to how it was before but I really like it. It's also a lot easier to record in this area because before I had to move a lot of stuff off the door and move stuff about. So far it's looking like I might be able to put the lights or the majority of the lights that I use for light in this area up full time and it will just be easier for me to make videos here. It also means that there might be an increase in just sort of random talking videos down here which would be pretty cool. You guys can see the walls a bit better now, I've got my proper camera out. My hand's still pretty red but you guys can kind of see that it's it's quite a greeny colour. You might be able to tell better over there. Obviously that was the the lighty blue colour and that you can quite tell quite well there to be fair. So there's your greeny colour, there's your blueish colour and then the white roof. It's really cool to have these beams. They're such a nice feature to the room and it's pretty cool as well because they are like you see that bolt there. They are like actual functioning beams that are holding up I don't know the roof or something. It's pretty cool. You can tell really well there uh, what the the colour looks like. That's quite a good representation. It's quite a minty green sort of colour, and then that's a really good representation of the grey grey blue sort of wall. Curtains were all washed. Look real good now. Excuse my messy bed. What was a real real pleasure, and this was completely unintentional. My cupboard down here, so it's green and grey, and these grey boxes and stuff that I had for my old room match up with the green and grey green and grey green and grey, it all kind of matches and that wasn't intentional but it looks so cool anyway that's kind of how it's turned out like I say I'm going to do a whole room tour for you guys at some point but I wanted to show you guys how the paint and stuff sort of ended up I'll talk through all the cupboards and drawers and how everything's sort of changed in a future video. I'm really really happy with it like it was so outdated and the wallpaper and stuff was such a mess because so many bits had ripped and split and, and just didn't look or not even so much just look that good but it just didn't feel that sort of homely this is my room sort of thing whereas this this massively feels like you know this is my room it's all nice drawers and all that matching is pretty cool and it just uh, I don't know, I really like, like I had in the old room, this whole two different colours in a room, so one side's kind of one colour, the other's the other. I think it's really nice, and I'm just really happy with how it came out. I'm really thankful to Immy and Orlin and Quinn, and just everybody who helped do this room how it is, so thank you guys. And also, thank you guys for watching, I hope you found it interesting, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I will hopefully... See you guys in yet another video. See you later, guys.